What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Smartphone World. Today I'm going to be talking about a few things actually. One is the next evolution of Android operating system which will be called Keyline Pi. And before I go any further, I want you guys to visit my Facebook fan page and tell me what you think the rest of the alphabet is going to be named. I know that we have, you know, like ice cream sandwich, jelly bean, key lime pie, you see that we're going in alphabetical order guys and it's all desserts. What is the rest of the alphabet going to look like? I just really need you guys to know. Click on my link and please tell me what you think. The other things that I'm going to be talking about today is, well both things will be HTC. The one, obviously, because everybody wants to know when in the United States it will be released. And the other is the Facebook phone. We did hear that the Facebook phone was going to be HTC, and we found out a little bit more. First up, let's talk about Keyline Pi for a second. What phone will be getting it first? Now, I am assuming that it's going to be the Motorola X phone, the Google X phone, whichever way they're going to call it. Now I'm hearing that it might be called the Nexus 5. They're saying that it might be called the Nexus 5 because it's supposed to have a 5.2 inch display, 3 gigs of RAM, insane specifications. It even supposed to come with a Snapdragon 800 processor. Now, is that one going to be getting the Keyline Pi first or are we going to be looking at an update on a smartphone to get Keyline Pi first? Most likely we'll see a, a brand new smartphone with the operating system first. We never really see an update go out before a new phone has it, so expect that the Nexus 5 or Google Motorola X phone or whatever they're going to decide to call it, that it will have it first, supposedly. We're really going to have to wait for Google I.O. in June to find out exactly what is going on with Jelly Bean, but we do have the Nexus 4, which runs on Jelly Bean, the latest version of Jelly Bean right now, and that is basically their like flagship device right now. So I would expect that they get Jelly. I mean, they get Keyline Pi first for the update. Now Google has also announced that, or maybe it's Samsung saying that only quad core chip processors in smartphones will be able to run on Keyline Pi, which means. Jelly Bean will be as high as you can go if you have anything less than quad core, which means dual core, obviously. So what does this mean? This means that all Apple iPhone users, Apple fans out there, those fanboys, those sycophants out there, will have this one little tidbit to attack us with, saying that how Apple always has their updates go out to every smartphone. Well, that's because their operating system is a joke. It's very small. It's, it does absolutely nothing for you but put apps on a screen for you. That's it, guys. That's all. Android operating system, Jelly Bean will be as high as you can go with dual core, but who cares? Even five years from now when Apple puts out iOS 12 or whatever, Jelly Bean will still be doing better than them because they won't have half the things that Android has, even way back now, compared to them. That's simply just, I am waiting for the discussion from all these Apple fans, that's all. And it's just pretty much going to be funny. Do we know any of the new features that are going to be coming out? Well, we do know that there's going to be that, you know, Google Babble where you know it's going to be all about voice messenger chat for google drive you know google plus and stuff like that i want to see an application that is just strictly google video chat why not why don't we have an app for that already yeah you, you can download skype or do it through google plus and i want a straight up app just for video chat that's it can we do that i mean how about if we add video chat into the texting can we do that? Something, something good to come out of Keyline Pi because honestly, I've heard zip about it. I have heard nothing. They've been saying that the operating system will be able to run on less RAM power. That's terrific. That just means that it'll be less complicated of an operating system and it won't need as much to run. And it also means that it'll be running smoother, more fluid, going from 
one process to another, one application to another, surfing the internet, streaming video, it will do much better just because of that. Less RAM usage. That's terrific. I would love to see that if that is true, but who gives a crap if swipe comes on your keyboard or not? These are the questions that some people have. Will swipe be coming on key lime pie? Who, guys, seriously, for stuff like that, there's tons of keyboard apps that you can put into your smartphone. Who gives, <laughs> seriously? Let's start asking for real things. Like I want NFC to be able to do way more things. I want to be able to control more things with my smartphone. Stuff like that. That's what I'm looking for. And if we can have that, I will be very happy. So, I mean, basically, we're going to have to wait to find out a little bit more about Keyline Pi and what phones it will be coming in and what will be included in the new operating system. They're also saying that it will use less battery power. Terrific. I also want to see something about the brightness. I hate when I have to change from one thing to another and the brightness stays the same when in actuality it would work better if it was less bright for certain things and brighter for like gaming and stuff like that. Let's see some good things like that. Innovation guys, innovation. Let's really step up. Okay, well EV Leaks came out and showed us this picture of a new HTC smartphone. Kind of looks basic to me. What do you think? Almost looks like the BlackBerry Z10, doesn't it? I don't know. But this is supposedly the new Facebook phone that HTC is going to be cranking out. Seriously, I don't see a need for a Facebook smartphone. Facebook app that works great on all Android and Apple and BlackBerry, Windows. How about you do that? Can we see that, Facebook? Can we see something good like that instead of... Oh, I can't do it on my app because it's an app and I have to wait till I get to my own computer or I have to open up the full version on my web browser and my smartphone. Enough of that garbage. Come on, Facebook. You can do better than this. You be, Come on, billions of people on your thing and this is all you can come up with? Ah, eh, forget about it. Who cares, right? Let's talk about something great. AT&T and Sprint has come out and said that pre-ordering for... The HTC One will be starting in a couple of days, on the 4th for AT&T and on the 5th for Sprint. They will be selling the 32 gig version for $200 with a contract and $300 for the 64 gig on contract. Doesn't really say anything about whether or not you will be uh, getting any other incentives, will it be coming with a wireless charging dock or anything stupid like that, I haven't heard of anything like that, please don't ask, I doubt there will be Beats headphones included on it, AT&T will be the only company in the United States offering the 64 gig version for 300 on contract, when you will be able to get it for 199 on Sprint for the 32 gig version, 32 gig version is also on AT&T as well, but they're both saying that you'll be able to pre-order it and both phones will be released on April 19th and you'll be able to pick up your devices. Now, will it be black? Will it be silver? We'll have to wait and see. Well, that was another episode of Smartphone World. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to try to keep cranking out more episodes daily as news comes in. Of course, some things come up and I can't do it all the time, but I will definitely try to keep it up for you. Remember, visit my Facebook fan page, give me some comments below, tell me what you think. Let's hear about that alphabet and what the rest of the dessert features are going to be on Android operating systems. And visit thatsmartphoneshow.com for news articles. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.